Hey, Magic Flying Potato here, and just want to give a quick thanks to the devs for uh, voting this ship right here as uh, their vote for the alien spacecraft. They had two different votes, uh, fan favorite and dev vote, and mine did win the dev vote, so thanks again. Uh, and just uh, this will get us into the next part of uh, this is going to be in a, uh, just a basic instruction video of the basics of building a aircraft and it's not the easiest thing to do when you first start out and even if you have a little bit of build experience on this it still kind of gets a little uh, difficult uh, to say the least because of the physics involved in this game so we will go ahead and clear this and we will start building on a new ship. Uh, basic aircraft. Go ahead and do that so we don't write over that one. All right, so for the first things you really need to do uh, is kind of have an idea of what you want to build. Um, and also, once you get the idea, you're going to need to click at least two buttons for the uh, aircraft to build it is the center of lift and the center of mass. So center of lift is blue, center of mass is yellow. And together they make that. And also uh, mirroring does come in very handy. All right, so a couple things to remember is um, this game does uh, weight affects everything in this game. So the heavier blocks you build, which are like armor three steel, is going to definitely affect the lift of this this aircraft that you're trying to build, and also the amount of power it's going to need, which is indicated right here. And more power, more fuel, more fuel, uh, and all that. You're also going to need the crew to man it. So the bigger it is the more items you'll need, the heavier it gets. And I've gotten to the point of where it gets very heavy very quickly and it it slows your whole ship down. Uh, so, all right, so what we're going to do is just build kind of like a basic steampunk-looking um, ship, I guess, with the balloon up top and the little, the little craft down below. I right, built a bigger version of these, uh, but we won't do that with this. Again, being the basics. All right, so once again, remember, uh, weight is everything on building a airship. So even if some building was still, so even, even with that said, you want to kind of build the underside of these type of crafts, um, depending on what you're really planning on doing. Uh, so building the underside with uh, heavier armor, it's kind of important if you're going to be attacking things from below because uh, they're going to end up shooting up towards you. Uh, if you're planning on attacking other aircraft, uh, it's all up to you on how you want to do it. You just kind of want to protect this centerpiece somehow, some way. Uh, maybe not necessarily keep it down here at the bottom, but move it up into the balloon part. So, yeah. Uh, but like I said, we'll we'll work on this as we go. Uh, we want to keep the center of mass, center of mass and center of lift equal, um, as it will definitely affect the way the ship flies. Okay, so uh, again, we're just uh, it's this is going to be very basic um, because we're just going to get the basic concepts going. So nothing nothing really fancy going to go on on this one. there so uh, you, I guess you kind of see that's kind of a basic shape I guess if you want to say that uh, so what we're gonna do is we will put a couple cylinders here which will hold our balloon uh, for the mirror build the mirror build does go so that's the front mirror will mirror left and right uh, anything built down the center 
palm you're gonna have to do from one side to the other I am not sure if there is a way to adjust that mirror to what you build on the front will also happen on the aft that might be something that they're gonna work on or maybe not all right so balloons these right here these three pieces the gas floaters are what you're going to need to give your uh, aircraft lift to make it float in the air and again you just okay so again here's the take that off this is the center of float this is where the center of the floating part of the ship is going to be and the center of mass is down here so this part down here is a lot heavier than up here which is kind of the way you do want to build it because I will show you something I did in the past all right so let me see if and the way to test this out if if it does lift right is while you're building it just hit the return the enter key and hit the space bar and or the uh left control key that is your lift and and descent so as you can see it is lifting um it's and it's lifting straight up so that is a good thing to to do or make sure it is doing because if not if you got okay what we're going to do is again center of mass is important so say we make this front like that as you can see the center of mass now is forward of the center of lift and when you go to fly this is what's going to happen it is going to uh nose down which uh in some cases i have done that on some builds because uh, if I want to attack ground targets with uh, guns that are not necessarily um, like these ones right here, they don't have a, they got a small range of motion. So if you want to use these to point downwards, you're going to have to kind of angle downwards. These turrets right here have up, down, left, right. This is more left, right motion. Uh... So yeah, so it, it all depends on the type of turret you're putting inside your ship. Uh, another thing to remember is if you put, what we want to do is, okay, we'll get rid of this real quick. And I'll show you something that I've done before, which, um, so if you put your center of float below the heavier part, you end up going to flip this thing over in a way that at first I, I was kind of like well why is it doing that um let's see so we'll do the center of float kind of heavier more back here so when you do it see how it flips the whole thing over again uh basic basic phys physics going on here uh the lighter something is the more it's going to want to float upward so it spins the entire craft over because there's more lighter uh weight up top the air wants to go up and that will flip it over so yeah it's something to remember because i was doing some builds where um i enclosed the float balloons to protect them and uh, i kept having a problem with the ship kind of wanting to flip over uh, there is another thing that we will do, which is we will put in these uh, uh, gyroscopes, which helps keep the aircraft and ships and submarines more level when you're using them. Okay, so again, just very basic. kind of build a basic um, basic outline right here with basic kind of balloon shape uh, where do I start that so I did this this all right so and I can fill this in in a little bit Okay, so uh, also weight does affect everything. So everything has a weight. 
Um, so what we're going to do now is we'll just go ahead and put some support things in. Uh, we got different engines here, which have different strength, weight, and power usage, crew need it. Most of the engines I ever use are the diesel, the, the large diesel engines, because they have the most power and a lot of things I end up building end up needing a lot of power. One problem is, is uh, there are two, there, there are double blocks. So if you have something that is, when you're trying to put a center balance down, as you can see, this is going to be off centered if I put all of these on one side. It is going to not, I don't think it'll tip much, but it's going to tip, as you can see, to the left side a little bit. Which, in the long, right now it's not really affecting it, but after a while, that could actually start affecting the way your ship flies, depending on how many pieces you actually put in. So what I'm going to do, again, uh, thinking about the center of balance, I'm going to put an engine there, and I'll put another one over here. So keeping that center of balance line down, uh, and I am going to need fuel, which I'll just pop one tank where am I going to pop this tank? Is it a three tank? Or is it a two? It is a two. Um, all right, we'll put two down. We'll put one here. And we'll put another one here. All right, so we got enough power. We got enough fuel. Now we need crew. Uh, if you don't put crew down, it will take a lot longer for things to start happening. Um, reloading guns. Uh just kind of everything and they don't necessarily even though they have windows and stuff they don't have to be on the outside you can put them inside to protect everything uh the ones that do need to kind of have view ranges are the the bridges and these front side and sphere view blocks you need to put them out in the open if not because i put like this one down inside and you'll definitely see the difference of this visibility changing all right so we got our engines we got our crew we do need uh movement so air propellers we'll go ahead and put two on and let's see what we got going on all right so as you can see because of the air propellers add a little bit weight to the back you will get a little bit of a backward when you're standing still it will lean back just a little bit because of the weight uh another thing you got to remember is you will also as you can see when i when i fly the engines are pushing the whole ship kind of in a forward down motion at first and even when i'm flying so the, where you put these engines also make a difference on how this thing is going to float all right so what i will do is uh, kind of demonstrate this so I want to keep everything kind of balanced with these engines so if I put them down lower and we'll do this if you can see it is not pushing the nose down as much as it was when they were one block higher let's go ahead and put them one block higher and see what happens even though I put these air balloons down below See how it pushes it forward like that? And when it was on the other, the lower ones, it did not. So it, it does, again, because here's the center of mass. So center of mass, and I think, is that the center of float as well? Center of mass? No, center of float is still, where is it at? It's still up high. So, yeah, it's, again, you got to take an account where your center of mass, center of float is going to be when placing, um, Placing your items so your your ship will fly right. Uh, a couple other things we're gonna do uh, for this one. Uh, we don't really right now have a issue with stability, but always you always want to put a uh, one or two gyroscopes onto here to help. Um, it keeps things level. It keeps things balanced. That's what gyroscopes are for. So I'll go ahead and put two up there, uh, and also. Um, so with these engines, you're going forward and backwards. 
so you can't turn sideways just yet. Uh, you got a couple options here. You got rudders. Uh, rudders can go anywhere. They could go up front. So we'll put, or they could go out back. And so we'll put two here. And we'll just, we'll just do a basic, again, a uh, little bit heavier in the back. So, all right, so as you can see now with those two rudders, I am turning. Turn the other way. And uh, rudders do not use power, uh, but we do have side propellers, which we could also put on any directions you could put put them on that way or you could put them on sideways so we'll do that these do use power so again the power consumption of 100 each so as you can see i put two on and now i am kind of under power by uh, 10 uh, about 10 percent um we'll go ahead and go with it but they do as you can see you don't have to be moving forward for these for the uh, the side propellers to maneuver your ship um, for the for these rear these these rudders you do again kind of like physics of flying uh, there's no air flowing over those rudders so there's you're really not turning once I start moving forward air starts going over the rudder and the way their turn is the way the air is going to push your your vehicle again these do not use power but you can't you can't do anything standing still unlike the these air side propellers uh, if you want to get faster lift you put these on right here and these will lift or push you push you up or push you down but they also again use power so as you can see i am i don't know if you can see but i am going a lot lifting a lot higher and a lot faster should I say and then uh, if you go down I think they also help you go down let's see all right so we're at zero and let's go up and I'm not gonna boost my engines until we get to a 200 and then we'll drop it down I think just dropping down it I don't know if it does slow you up or down all right so we'll go ahead and pull these off and see what the difference is of going up and down all right so as you can see uh, without them my ship is just kind of it is it is sitting there ah yeah, I think it's a little slower going up. Um, again, the heavier your ship is, the more that those will affect the ascent and descent of your ship. So it's something else to take into account. Uh, let's see. So um, there is another physics in this game. When you are, I'll go ahead and put one of these up front right here. All right, and we'll get up in the air. And with this one, I don't think it will affect it by much, but I've had ships that are a lot bigger. Uh, when I'm trying to fly in a straight line like this, they tend to be drifting sideways like this. So you're not really, you're going forward, but you're going forward at a diagonal angle. This ship right now, because it's so small, it's really not getting affected by all those physics. But there is a fix for a drift drifting uh aircraft and these are the uh air stabilizers um you do want to try the, the they work the best if you put them straight down the middle yeah you, you probably don't need this many and being that my ship really is not drifting when i am trying to turn and trying to straighten out Oop, i'm going backwards so going straight turn and now see see how it's kind of I'm not touching it see how it kind of moved so here's a turn and I'm not touching it I'm well now I am 
All right, so uh, let's see if I could do this. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a hard turn, and then I want to go straight. Okay, so right there, that slight turn right there, I was not touching my mouse. That is the, the, uh, the stabilizers uh, straightening my craft out as well as the uh, gyroscopes helping uh, straighten my, my craft out. So if, if you have a drifting problem with your, your vehicle when you're trying to go straight and, you're, and you still have a diagonal drift, go ahead and put these rudders rudders these stabilizers onto the center portion of the ship i mean you could put them on the outsides too uh devs the devs uh uh suggested putting them as close to center as possible to get your uh your ship to stabilize uh so you also got the rocket which if you need a boost of speed to get out of the way you put a rocket on and you hit the space the, the ship key and this will speed your ship up to get it out of trouble uh, the problem with this is I don't have anything to cool it down so that's why that red bar on the left side is going slow I can put you go over to the support section and you got a various various type of coolers you got the funnel you've got the exhaust pipe and then you got these um, these are for major cooling these are minor that's additional cooler so that's again minor cooling let's see what we got uh, cooling of two cooling of three cooling of five um, those little numbers really don't seem like they make a difference but when you start putting a few of these on Go ahead and put, yeah, we'll put two on. And eh, no, we'll actually put more on than that. I'm um, trying to get rid of that one. Let's do that and see what. All right, so we'll go forward. So see, it's taking a lot longer for that red line to go up. And when I let go, oop, it goes down a lot quicker. So which means I am cooling a lot quicker with those cooling blocks. Okay, so I mean again, this is it's a basics basics video. I'm going way over what I wanted to for for uh this video, but um yeah, that's pretty much the basics of and I am on fire. Uh that is the basics for building an airship. Uh you want to keep it you want to keep it balanced with these lines. What you do on the left this is the right side. I'm looking at it backwards. What you do on the right side, because it's pointed this way. All right, we'll go around this way. So what you do on the right side, you should also do on the left side to keep it balanced. Because if you don't mirror it and you add blocks over to uh, one side, say you wanted to build this out a little bit, and you do a put a cube over here make it really and you you put it up this is what's going to happen if you don't balance it out and this will the bigger it is the more you'll get affected by that um so always remember mirror and what you do on the left do on the right for blocks uh engines and stuff you do want to keep them balanced out as well uh again a lot of these blocks are only double blocks and in order to have a something level that's three across or one ac uh, two across you're gonna have to kind of offset them so like you put like I did on on the engines one sticking out that way one sticking out this way unless you really are into crunching numbers and stuff so if you put the engines here and then figure out how much weight you need to balance it out over here you can do that hey I I am not that technical so I will not do that uh yeah, so I mean, um, I think that pretty much covers the basics for an airship. Um, again, you could put springs or wheels on it so when you land uh, on the ground, it won't crunch the ship. Uh, you could also put uh, sea propellers on it so it can also 
if you land in the water you could also still continue going because it is the sea propellers will kick in as well as these ones and it'll push you along um so yeah there you have it uh very basics for uh building a airship that will fly and um do what you want to do uh the bigger you make it the more complex it is and the more engines and power and everything you got to all work that out but as long as you learn the basics of these uh, on how they fly and how to put them together you shouldn't really have a problem uh i say that and i've had problems with building various type of ships uh airships but uh yeah so once again i'm playing uh diesel punk wars the demo the uh actual game i'm not sure i think they said june time frame but i i could be wrong uh will be releasing um so again if you have any questions comments or anything just uh leave them below let me know and until the next time uh this is magic flying potato i am out